Now, on Top Gear, we try to find the toughest car in America. Oh, very funny! Yeah! And the winner takes on the U.S. Army in one of the toughest SUVs on the planet. Go, 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 go! Go, go, go! My 1987 Toyota Corolla was America's toughest, most indestructible car. But there's tough, and there's military tough. So I was headed cross country to Fort Campbell, Kentucky, home to the 101st Airborne Division and a few other badass units that officially don't exist. I was here to drive an SUV that has pure military pedigree. The Germans call it the Wolf. It served in over 60 different militaries, and it's the vehicle of choice for the Russian Mafia. This is the Mercedes-Benz G63 AMG. No matter what you think about the G63, there's one thing you can't argue with, and that's its military pedigree. Paradoxically, though, these aren't driven by hardcore military tough types. They're the starlets of Hollywood that you see behind the wheel of the G63. I mean, it could be called the strangest truck on the planet. On one hand, it's got body-on-frame construction, two live axles, three locking differentials, recirculating ball steering, which is rugged but old-school technology. Then AMG got a hold of it, put in 536 horsepower. Now it goes zero to 60 in 5.3 seconds. So it's basically the fastest farm tractor on the planet. The 5.5-liter bi-turbo V8 drags this two-and-a-half-ton box to a limited top speed of 130 miles an hour. And it shifts so fast at 6,000 RPM, just rattling through the gears. There's 80 miles an hour. That was quick. Zero to 60 was 5.3. Now we're at 100, 110. Finding seventh gear. There it is. 120. Holy crap. Here comes the end of the runway. Up 25. OK, we're breaking. That's the most dangerous part, is actually the slowing down. It sort of weeble wobbles its way down to a stop. The G63 is most definitely quick, but has all the leather and chrome transformed this deadly German Shepherd into an over-pampered poodle? This is a truck, and have no doubts, it is a truck that has changed very little fundamentally since 1972. But the thing that gets me is why you would take one of the best off-road machines in the world, put 500 horsepower in it, and make it a grocery getter for Housewives of Beverly Hills, where it will never see dirt or dust. Strange. So with all these luxury and performance distractions, paparazzi that are more likely to shoot you than an opposing army, has it completely forgotten its roots as a genuine military truck? To find out, I was gonna put it to the ultimate test of military toughness. Right now, I'm on the northern border of Fort Campbell, somewhere around here in a small town called Cassidy Mount. It's M-O-U-T, or Military Operations in Urban Terrain. Now, my objective is to get down here to a safe house on the southern end. It's about 10 miles as the crow flies. Normally, that wouldn't be a problem. But today isn't normal. I'm going to be hunted by deadly screaming eagles. The 101st Airborne is one of the most decorated units in American military history. These air assault specialists have played a pivotal role in every major conflict from World War II to Afghanistan. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Chief Hatchler, Strike Two. This will be an unclassified briefing. To date, we've identified objective Delta Fox. The guys after me today are part of the second brigade combat team called Strike. He was raised in Europe where he received uh, training in advanced driving techniques. His most likely course of action is going to be to flee the area. But it's of utmost importance that you guys are able to acquire this individual 
without harm. I've got no idea what they're gonna send after me. They could just launch a missile, blow me to bits and be done with it, but they're under orders to take me alive. Say again, this is not a kill mission, this is a capture. And they describe themselves as discriminately lethal, agile and adaptive. Let's hope so. Gentlemen, are there any questions at this time? Very well, go get them. The mission would start at 0800 hours. As the crow flies, it was just 10 miles from start to finish. But Ford Campbell has over 100,000 acres covered with hundreds of miles of roads and trails. The 101st had no idea which one I'd take. And because they had to take me alive, they had to use all their training and equipment to lure me into an ambush. All I had to do was stay out of their trap. Let's go, let's go, open it up, come on! This was it, the G-Wagon and I against the might of the U.S. Army. Whoa, this thing is a beast. As I made a run for it, the Eagles launched something I wasn't expecting. A shadow drone, capable of spotting a pimple from 18,000 feet. All right, hammer down now. I gotta go all the way out there. My God, this thing is so fast on the gravel. That's 90. Whoa, that is faster, that little town. With two miles down and eight to go, I got the feeling I was being watched. Hold on to us. Shadow 2 1, strike me. Strike me, go ahead. Target vehicle is moving at an extremely high rate of speed from west to east through range 63. Drones are absolutely relentless. Some guy in a basement somewhere with a joystick. That was nuts. So, one, maintain contact and continue to report location. Now that the drone had located me, it was just a matter of time before the next wave of attack came. The 101st were launching two $11 million Kiowa Warrior helicopters. These frontline armed reconnaissance choppers would take over from the drone as the eyes and ears of the strike team firing intel to ground forces and air assault teams to coordinate the attack and force me into a trap. If I couldn't shake them, it would be game over. <laughs> Top Gear had challenged us to find the toughest, most unkillable car in America. And after being shot, oh. bombed, dropped, Stop! and raced without oil, my Toyota Corolla had won. My prize was being sent to Kentucky to try to escape the 101st Airborne Division in one of the toughest SUVs ever made. This thing is a beast. The Mercedes G63 AMG. Leather and bling aside, this is one of the most capable off-roading combinations. If they can catch me in this, on these roads, I don't think anybody's really got a chance. Okay, here's the road. Finally get to pavement. I can let this thing open up. I'd made it off the gravel onto Palmyra Road, a main supply route that would take me directly to the finish line just seven miles south. Shadow 2 1, strike main, how copy? Strike main, go ahead. Mercedes traveling south, route Palmyra. Holy Kiowa helicopters! It's getting real now. These reconnaissance choppers would be firing intel to ground and air teams to coordinate the attack and force me into their trap. Outrunning them on pavement's my only chance. They go 130 miles an hour, and so do I. 110. They are right on top of me. Unbelievable. Whoa! 130. The G-Wagon speed wasn't enough. I needed to break free and head for cover. 
there's a road. Here we go. <laughs> this thing's a bit of a handful. Okay, I need to get into thicker cover than this. They can definitely still see me here. Deep in the woods here. Here we go. This is it. This is how you hide a white G Wagon in the woods. My plan seemed to have worked. Up above the Kiowas, it switched to a search pattern. I had lost them, but for how long? The proximity sensors that are valuable in the mall parking lot are exceptionally annoying when you're actually using the vehicle off-road. I don't know why I'm whispering. But I couldn't hide all day. God, it covers ground so good. The G-Wagon is eating the jungle alive. The military -ness of this truck is awesome. You can see why the Germans just didn't even try to reinvent it. Oh my gosh, does it get the job done. Okay, we're back on the road, back on the road. Finally, I was back on the tarmac with no sign of the Kiowas. Half a mile ahead, I needed to make a right turn. Then it was just four miles to the finish. Things were looking up. All right, seems pretty clear out here. I think my uh, hiding in the woods actually worked. Holy they're right back on me. If they tracked me through that, I am in trouble. The Kiowas now started to direct the ground forces to intercept me including state-of-the-art MATV armored trucks. All right, this obviously is not working. Safe house is over there. All right, I got a right turn up here. Whoa! Big military trucks. Out of here, out of here, out of here. That's bad. That's where I need to go. If I thought that was bad, things were about to get a whole lot worse. 28 infantry troops and two Blackhawks were about to take to the sky. Blackhawk 300, flight 1603, tax for alpha clear protect more left base for 123. Mission commanders had chosen an ambush point based on the intel from the Kiowas. The question was, could the ground forces in Kiowas force me into it, or could I find a way out? This is getting very dangerous. With the infantry closing in and more than three miles to the finish, the 101st were tightening their neck. Holy crap! boxed in. This is the only place I can go. He's on me. This is not going to end well. As I searched for a new way out, the Blackhawks were delivering the infantry to the ambush site. Go, 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 go. Move, move. Holy crap. How many helicopters are there? Road is being completely cut off. Okay, they're leaving me absolutely no choice. I'm being toyed with right now by the 101st Airborne Division. This is a bad place to be, I can tell you. This is not good. I got helicopters chasing me. I got 22,000 pound tanks with turrets chasing me. Up ahead was an intersection. Both ways led to the finish line, but one was a trap. Now it was my turn to roll the dice. Did I go left or right? They're 
There are not too many people that have been chased by these men and women of the 101st and gotten away. I had just a mile to get to the tree line in safety. If I guessed correctly, I'd make it. If not, I was heading into a world of pain. My only hope is just to go ludicrous speed. Go, go. I had just 300 yards to go. With no infantry in sight, suddenly things were looking very good. But then, I saw something I wasn't expecting. Stop sign? I'm gonna stop her. Spike strips! Spike strips! Stop the vehicle! Reverse, 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 reverse. Go, get it, go, Guns, go, guns, go. guns, guns, guns. Hands up, move! Hands up! Keep your hands up! Move, move! The Eagles had forced me into their trap. It was game over. The might of the 101st had been too much to conquer. But despite losing, the G-Wagon had surprised me. Even though these days it may be more bling than bang, it still has the heart of a military monster.